What's up guys, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use WhatWeb and Nmap to find vulnerabilities on a website. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to type WhatWeb-V www.itsecgames.com I believe that's, yep. And what this is going to do is what web gets all the services that are running on a particular website. And the reason we're using this is because it's a buggy web application that is made for uh, penetration testing. And it's pretty good for this example. So we have our verbose output and you can get that using dash V and that works in a lot of Linux commands too. And it says that we have Apache, 5, Apache HTML5, HTTP server, which is Apache and script. And this is the IP address, and we're going to go ahead and use that. And this is stuff that's good to know. However, we could already probably tell because it's a website that it would have these services. But this can get us extra services that we might not know about existing on a server. Now I'm going to explain Nmap and TCP to you. So let's go ahead and start with the basic scan. So we can, let's say we wanted to ping every single IP on this network to find vulnerabilities. Well, there's 254 hosts on this network. We can't just ping and then run a script on every single host in the network, right? That would take way too long. And that's where nmap comes in. So we're going to type nmap dash s t dash p and we're going to scan for the ports that run the web server. So we're going to type ports 80, comma 443. 80 is open, 443 is https, and then our IP address. But if you remember, we said we wanted to do every single one that is in this network. So we're going to type 0 slash 24 to go through all 254. We'll go ahead and run this. And it might take a while, and you can tell the progress of where it's at by pressing enter. Oh, well, looks like it already completed. So there's some basic information about all of the hosts on that network that are using these ports, right? So let's say we wanted to take it a step further and get some more information. Well, we're going to do that using a stealth scan. And here's why we want to do that. So here's how TCP works. Our computer sends information to their computer, which sends information back to our computer, and our computer sends a third packet of information back to their computer to complete the conversation. Well, in a stealth scan, our computer sends information, their computer sends information back, but we don't send that third packet. And the packet that we send is called a SYN packet, or synchronization packet. And the packet that they send back is called a SYN ACK packet, or a synchronization acknowledgement packet. And that is where the conversation is going to end between our computers when we use this command, nmap s s dash p 80 comma 443 IP address now oh you do need to be root to run the uh, stealth scan see it says 33% done whenever I press enter alright cool so now our scan is complete and you'll notice that's pretty much the same information as before and it really is except this time we did the stealth scan in which we did not send that third packet of information back over to uh, their system. So now something else I want to show you is it's called decoy and we can run nmap dash s s dash d and we can use one of these IP addresses as a decoy system. And I'm not going to run the command simply for the sake of time I'm just gonna explain what the command is and basically what this is going to do is this is going to send the one packet of information receive one packet of information to this system 
but then it is going to do the rest of the scans on the host network through this system like a decoy and that's pretty much how that works and we're going to go ahead and keep that there and instead we're going to pick a specific IP address and we'll go ahead and do 205 and let's say we wanted more information on the target system than just this let's say we wanted to know what operating system was running we could type dash O let's go ahead and run that make sure you run it as root and as you can see we have the OS details of Linux 3.1 to 4.1 as the kernel and let's say we wanted even more information we could add dash A for an aggressive scan alright and there we go we ran an aggressive scan and we got more information on the system like for example which servers we are going through to get to that host IP address the operating system that it's running and sometimes we can even get the SSH key and as you can see it's running Apache but we already got that information from what web so now how do we test for vulnerabilities using all of this we've got information but how do we tell if there's any vulnerabilities well Inmap actually has something really cool for that and it's dash dash script vuln and let me explain what that is real quick so if you look at Inmap's documentation you can see that there's a lot of scripts for checking vulnerabilities within a given system there's you know the PHP self vulnerability there's a VSFTP backdoor there's a lot of different ways that Inmap can scan whether or not this vulnerability exists on a sim system and what dash dash script vuln does is it actually oops it actually runs all of those vulnerability scripts on this system and so to make it more accurate let's get rid of the port 40 or 80 and 443 and let's go ahead and run this all right cool so the scripts finished and now we can see the different states of the uh, host system so you can see there's a vulnerable state here and it explains what the vulnerability is it's a anonymous Diffie Hellman key exchange man in the middle vulnerability and if we look down here um, SSL poodle information leak and it gives you if it's vulnerable likely vulnerable same kind of the same thing I could make a different video explaining that um, insufficient group strength in the Diffie Hellman key exchange it's vulnerable and you can find a lot of different weaknesses in a particular web server and that scan it took my system about seven minutes I want to say it would be a lot faster if we defined only ports 80 comma 443 however that is the basics of how you can run a stealth decoyed in map scan on Linux to find vulnerabilities in a different system and in a separate video I'm going to explain how to take advantage of these vulnerabilities another thing that really helps out with this nmap scan is it gives references on the different vulnerabilities and on the results that it has it can also tell you when something's not vulnerable all right now the thing that i want to show you it's called vuln hub and what this is is it's a bunch of different iso server images that you can run on your host system that are intentionally vulnerable or compromised and it's kind of like a puzzle learning different hacking methods to get back in the system or get control of the system that you set up in a virtual machine on your own network all right and uh, with that being said that's really all I have to show you guys and I hope this helped you out and I'll see you in the next video